And what, do you do you have a sense of why is the French have, have singled you out? <laughs> well, I was. <clears throat> I think for this, I think for this maybe, honor, of course. I was in uh, the second Company E, which E, F, G, and H are second battalion of the 324th Infantry Regiment. Uh, late in November, around Thanksgiving time. We were detached from our unit and attached to the French 2nd Armored Division. The French 2nd Armored Division had been tasked to capture Cherbourg, or Strasbourg, not Strasbourg, Strasbourg, which is a big city and not the first one on the Rhine that we captured. So we were their infantry support. If you had tanks and no infantry support, you got knocked out by other infantry. So we were their infantry support. So we went with them. They went through towns. Uh, shooting everything in sight. The Jerry's went into the basement. We came along and they came back out. <laughs> and uh, uh, they went through towns at night. If there was lights, they shot them out. And they had all kinds of civilians, mostly young women, uh, besieging them when they stopped. They were very popular at that point. So we got to Strasbourg and uh, it was such a lightning move that the Germans didn't even know that we, for a lot of long time, for two or three days, didn't know we had it. We kept capturing guys coming back from leave. And then, of course, since we were way out on the limb, we got sh shut off, cut off, but uh, got opened again, and we got back. But I think that's the connection that they were, were after. How were you wounded? Uh, piece of shrapnel came across here, back into here. So this part of my nose was down like this. They obviously stitched it back that way. But they pushed it up and stitched it up. It looks okay. They did a good job. Yeah, the, the problem, and it's it stuck on all these years. <laughs> the, the problem is that it's full of scar tissue. Mm -hmm. I only have about half of a breathing space on it. So. Probably hard to taste and makes, makes sleep difficult. Yeah. It's a lot of years of having to deal yeah, with seven, that. 70 years. Last December, I've had since I've had that damn thing, and, it's, and uh, that's what that's the problem with war is they, they linger. You know, so. Anyway, that was I think that was a connection. We were also we at Alm, which is on the Danube. We uh, crossed the Danube at Alm. We took Alm and crossed the New Alm, and the French Second Armored Division was on our right. But I had no connection. We had no connection like we did before. So it's 65 years. Yeah. Where did you guys meet? At Penn State. <laughs> yeah, before you left. No, it was when, when I, came, came, when I came back. I came back and didn't know any coeds, and so when I asked one of the pledges in my fraternity to get me a date for the weekends, and he had dated BJ, and he knew her, so another guy asked him also. So we went over to her dorm, and there were. He had these two girls picked out, and I happened to get BJ, fortunately, because she was the love of my life. And uh, it's been a long, and we had three children. What, what was her name? BJ. BJ Betty Jane for was her. her name. Her name was Betty Jane. There was the other girls called Betty, and the, to, when the phone calls came, they wanted to differentiate. So Betty, Betty stayed Betty Gibson, and BJ stayed, or Betty Jane Wardner stayed BJ. So that was how, that was why she was called BJ. Just. So, pick me back up in Alsace-Lorraine. How did your war go after that? Well, I, I with this, they flew me back. I was flown back to England, an old C-47 or DC-3, and I was in the hospital for. It was early December, December the second, actually. Uh, the bulge started the 16th, so I missed the bulge. So that was early December, December, January, and February. I started back. I got back on uh, February the 11th. I got wounded again on the 15th, but not seriously. I just I had a rifle through my arm. That's when I was communicating. I was running a line, and we were attacking. And you, I didn't I didn't even go back till that night. It was uh, we were in kind of a tough situation. So I didn't. And I, I went back and had it dressed and spent the night and then came back up the next day. So that was not a serious wound at all. Was it a and, rifle bullet, though? Mm -hmm. Did it just crease or was it through it, and through? He, 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 no, it just came across here and creased it. Yeah. And heavy crease. And 
I looked at I looked at it, I had a few, all kinds of clothing on. Of course, it was February, and it looked like you know here and here. And I thought, my God, they got me, but they, they really hadn't. And the, and the guy was you know he, he was three hundred yards away. And, uh, so. It's not a bad shot. Pretty good shot, really. Yeah. <laughs> our guys, our guys usually these days use use seven hundred as kind of their outer limit. But you know they're using optics. They're yeah. Using some nice optics, and their yeah. weapons are a little better. We we had but still that's. That's close enough to yeah. suit. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Honorable mention. And from there we went to Verms. We, went, we crossed the Rhine at Verms uh, and then uh, went down through the Alps and into uh, uh, close to Switzerland and Italy. And that's where we were when the war ended. You were in Italy. I was, then I was slated to come through the States to go to Japan. That was what that book. They, what they did, they had a point system, and the big points were for children, which made sense to everybody. Nobody complained about that. The, the more points you had, the, if you had a certain number of points, you didn't have to go to Japan. And there were certainly no complaints about that. It was uh, a good way to do it. And that was my war. Then I went back to Penn State. And how long in total were you at war? Oh, active duty from... Uh, May of 1943 to uh, November of 1945, so about two years.